Hello and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 22 over on Court Farms. Right, as you can see guys, we have completely jumped into January. Um, I went to record, you know, I thought, well, we'll move into December. Honest to God, there was just nothing, and I mean nothing to do. Um, so, yeah, we've just... We've just skipped them that month. There is both days just absolutely nothing to do. Not not a fertilizing contract. Not not anything at all. So kinda jumped around, got into January. We have one job to do today. Um one job for January. So I thought, well, we'll go do that one job. Why is this tractor stuck? in low gear please get out of low gear there we go okay it's stuck in I'll tell you why because i've got the uh <laughs> that that'll be why i had the uh the plow down still oh it was my bed my bed um but yeah so basically we just got to go to field 114 um it's the only contract that was available to do today we have lost about a hundred and twelve pound, I think it is, in farm costs of, you know, buildings, pens, things like that. Um, but yeah, there, there was no point me loading December and be like, right guys, we've got nothing to do today, you know, and then we've got nothing to do again today, you know, on day two. And yeah, so I, I've just... Yeah, there's just there was just no point in being in December. Um, I don't think this will be much of a time lapse the episode. It's just a, ge a genuine case of we've only got the one job to do. So we'll get this job done. We'll move on to January two. But again, January two will most likely have no jobs again. It's just the way it is. It's weird because there's so many weeding jobs to be done, and yet I'm not getting anything. I had loads of jobs to do. Then again, saying that, on the 1st of... I'll tell you what it was, actually, and i tell a lie. There was a job to do on the 1st of December. But it was a corn harvest. But it's no longer harvest season, and you can't harvest corn. But I did think that was a little bit suspicious. It's really weird. Really, really weird. But Field 114 is literally just up this road. It's just over there just see it over the other side of the stream and we will uh, quickly get it plowed out we have done 23.3 hours in the Renault that's crazy all right there we go sorry about that that's, uh, sneezing once again, I'm still getting my ass kicked by a little bit of hay fever today. I just kind of... So there will be maybe some quiet patches while I'm sneezing and things like that. As, as per, guys, hopefully it'll go away by now. We, there's no warm weather today. But once again, it's a wet day where I am. And uh, it's basically knocked all the pollen from the, the roofs basically brought it all down to uh, basically down to earth and it's just playing havoc again yeah as you can see it's not exactly a massive field this one um, but it's the only contract we had available to do today and it, it does suck for the reasons being uh, you know it's the only one to do but I've got to I need to do something, do you know what I mean? I can't just skip Decembers and... This is why I play one day months, honestly. I would rather adjust the time than play two day months because for me, I've wasted two days in December doing nothing, basically. Now, I know you have that no matter what, but yeah. And I will turn traffic off, guys. I just completely forgot this morning. I woke up this morning and uh, had a little, just working on a mod in the background and I was just working on it this morning before I started recording, just while my kids were getting ready to go to uh, schools and colleges and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, it's just, 
forgot to do the traffic. Well, that's one headland done already. It's not too bad at all. That is really, really not too bad. Get a second headland done. That should give me enough turning then if I do a second headland. everybody who watches the uh, videos is super glad that the uh, map is now out on console I don't blame you like I say it is a fantastic map don't mind me I'm just concentrating <laughs> this field is nearly done that's crazy. That's it's taken. I think it's going to take me longer to drive here to and from the field, and it will be to probably actually do this field. But you know, at the end of the day, we have to get it done. There we go. Lovely. Tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just I'm not gonna do like a third headland, but I am just gonna follow this side up here. And then we'll do the longer bits. Come on, get away from that. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, very uh very weird not having many contracts, but you know it is winter after all. Yeah, I wouldn't mind, but the calendar says you can cut grass in winter. There's no grass contracts, which is a shame. I was hoping to maybe do one more. We need to make a little bit of money. Now, I'm not talking like a massive amount of money. I'm, I'm genuinely talking a little bit of money. And if we can get a little bit of money, we're not far off buying the wrapper. Everyone agrees that we should get the wrapper, which is what we're going to do. Um, yes, I know there are cheaper options for a wrapper out there, but I want to use a wrapper that I've not used before. So that's why we're going to use the McHale wrapper. You know, I, I, at the end of the day, I did download the mod from King's Mod. I spent a couple of hours fixing it because, you know, the one on King's Mod was broken before I fixed it. The original maker, I say, or converter of it has used my repair for it, which is brilliant. But obviously it's just I, I want to use that mod I've, I've not used it before do you know what I mean and it's another brand that I want to I'd like to use why why oh, come on oh yeah I haven't got wide tires have I still only got the normal tires on that is my bad should be plowing with bigger tires but then again I don't want to spend any money I don't want to spend any money we spend money we uh, run the risk of not being able to get the wrapper now i don't remember how much it is we need but i don't think we need a lot but i know one thing we're not going to be able to do any grass contracts until what i believe is the start of summer because obviously the grass has died off over winter it needs to grow back a little bit now there is a little bit of grass that i can cut on my farm we do have where i put the support aside and there is a little bit of grass so maybe that's something we could do today, make, a, make the odd little grass or a hay bale or something. But we're probably going to be talking like one, literally one bale. It's a very small bit of uh, a bit of land. And I personally am thinking of putting buildings there rather than leaving it as grass. Or we could plough it out and actually plant grass when the plant season's right. That's actually not a bad idea. Right, there we go. We have done the entire field. I wanted to just do the entire field because there wasn't much to do. Hey, anyway, let's have a look in the shop. Oh, would you believe it? Would you believe it? That is something I would be looking at buying soon. No way. 17,000. Oh, that, that's annoying. Um, Baylor wrapper, 46 grand. See, now that's not bad. Oh, it only does 125, so that would be the only downside. Massive sprayer. Oh, this is insane. 
This digs sugar beets out of the ground. Three meters wide. Oh. I know we don't have the money for that, but just two thousand pounds for that. I know we've got a spray, but could we sell our spray is worth sixteen thousand pounds. If we were to buy that new spray, I know it's a lot smaller, but I don't want to be going off doing loads of like fertilizing contracts now. We just want to be working near the farm. Then again, all the fields near our farm are all grass and they never need fertilizing. Oh, that, that, no, I'm just thinking if we'd have got rid of our sprayer, 16 grand, we'd buy that one for like three grand, that would give us what, 13 grand in the bank? Wow, that, that is a, a good amount of money to have in the bank and all. I've come across a new idea, by the way. I don't know if anyone else knows this or does this. But if I go this way, I can either turn right here and go through that gate, or I can go through this farm, and instead, I don't have to do that massive turn through the field. I meant to do it on the way in, but I forgot. It's because I took the wrong turn to begin with. I am just leaving gates open now, just to try and uh, go through some of these uh, fields. This is a nice farm. I wish we'd have had the money to have bought this farm, to be honest. There was a lot more money to, than what we had. There we go. Well, that is us heading back towards the farm. Yeah, there is nothing else we can do right now. Once again, you know, it's January. But we'll most likely skip into January too. I, I, I can't procrastinate. You know, I've done a job. I didn't do it in a time lapse, you know, because it was that small. There's just nothing else for me to do today. Let me go into here. Cause I'm hoping there's going to be another plough contract come up, to be honest. So if I just go on to here. Yeah, that's how long I've been in the game. We've had a save point after like a couple of minutes. There is another plough. Oh my God, it's all the way up there. Right, so we're going to do this, £1,300. I'll take that cultivating job as well. Yep, not... So where is 35? I know 35's got to be a little bit cut. Alright, so 35's over here. And we've got, what did I say it was? Field 99. So, field... Right, okay, field 99. Is, no, 99 is just up the road. I like that. So what we'll do, we'll uh, we'll go and do field 99. That's handy. We'll get 99 done. We'll jump in the Ford most likely, just because it's got a bit better speed. And then we'll go and plow it. We'll go and cultivate field 35. Well, that's handy. Big shout out to everybody on the uh, supporters board, guys. I do massively appreciate the uh, the support. If your name is on there, you are on the tiers that qualify. I do appreciate that. Right, so, field 99. Yeah, field, is field 99 the small field? No, it's not the small field I thought it was. Field 9 is the small field I thought. I was thinking of then. That's fine. That's fine. I'd like to cut the grass on field 6, to be honest. Look at the size of this field. It would be nice if we could do that. Build 99. I think, do we have to go in by the pub to get to 99? If I remember correctly, we have to drive past the pub, take the left, and then we take the left halfway between there and the stores. If I remember rightly, I do believe that that's where it was, or is. The only time I've been to 99, I did a fertilising contract on it. And it was... Uh, we were at the shop, so... It's, it's a long drive, actually, from our farm all the way up here. It's amazing how long it actually is to get up here. And you think, we're currently doing 27 mile an hour. If we'd have been doing this in the Leyland, we'd have been about halfway here. Right. 
I know there's a turn off somewhere in one of them, but I know the turn off to the pub is just easier. And here is the pub. And there we go, and I'm sure we basically pull into here. There we go. There is field 99. Lovely. Wow, this is actually a bigger field than I thought. So I reckon if we was to put this field into a bit of a time lapse, we can basically leave the tractor here at this field, and then we could just jump into the Ford from here, get the cultivator on that, and then go and cultivate that at the same time if there's enough time for it. I think that's going to work out best for us. We'll get a few more little jobs done then. So what I'll do is I'll get the radio turned on, guys. We'll listen to a little bit of music. And I will see you in a couple of minutes. over i think we did all right we would have done a hell of a lot more if i didn't get lost twice <laughs> i knew a way to 35 it was just not the most efficient and i was to, i'll be honest i was on my phone when i was driving to the field and i completely missed the turn off to the i needed to take through the you know through the farm for the shortcut i completely yeah it that was my bad it was my bad. It was, uh... <laughs> I was completely and utterly uh, my fault. Not paying attention. And, uh, yeah, paid the ultimate price there by wasting time in the time lapse. Otherwise, we'd have got a hell of a lot more done, I reckon. That time lapse cost us maybe... 
nearly a minute IRL. Uh, you know, the, the, the going the wrong way, sorry. Cost us a minute IRL, so that, you know what I mean? It's amazing what you can get done in a minute. But yeah, I, uh, I completely screwed that one up. As you can see, the Ford is just, the Ford is just so nice to drive, guys. So nice. It's still got that slidey problem, which is really weird because it only seems to be happening on this map. Um, I did check it and I adjusted the uh, center of mass in the mod after the last episode when I noticed it was doing it. Someone says, well, maybe maybe it's the bailer pulling it. it. It seems to be happening. I think it's because of the weight on the front. It sounds daft, but I genuinely that's what it is. It, the weight on the front is just making it slide backwards ever so slightly. And it's really weird because the center of mass is almost... Well, I've tried... I've tried loads of different ones, and they all seem to make you do it. It's really, really strange. But as you can see, this field is coming to an end. I did notice as well, during the time lapse, there was something just come up. I just want to have a look at something. Um, over here... Um, oh, well, we can cash in that plowing contract. There was a bail place... View Valley Bales. Or was it View Valley Stores? I don't know. There was something came up and it was blue. And I'm just wondering if it's something we have. Because if it's something we have and we could sell. No. We might have missed it. Because these Best Buys don't last forever, do they? No, I've only got hay. And it's not hay, so... That, that's a shame. I'm shame. Although hate is a really good price right now. But we need to just quickly get this field finished today. It is our, our main job for today is this one. This is probably the biggest field we've worked in today. But yeah, the next episode, I'm most likely not going to be in January 1. We haven't really... We haven't done enough in January 1. But I don't want to keep staying in the same month of... Uh, multiple episodes I, I i would like to just continue going through like i said this series doesn't have like a timeline you know what i mean um it's just as far as i'm concerned there's no other good maps out there to play at the moment so if we finish on court farms for any reason you know what i mean unless a really good map comes out i just in my opinion, there's no other decent one. And I'm not playing like big massive American maps. I, I, no offense like to America or any Americans who do watch this, but I just don't like them big massive fields. I just, they're either square rectangle square or rectangle. And they're just, I don't know, I just find that, you know, again, not trying to hit any here, but just as a personal opinion, I just feel like half the maps don't have any character at all. Do you know what I mean? It's just my opinion, but yeah. It's just the way I think it is, really. I've always liked the, uh, the UK style maps. I think it helps that I'm from the UK and buildings like that one there just on the left actually look like buildings I've seen in real life and things like that. The nice if Field 34 came up as a ploughing or a cultivating contract. This Field 34 is right next to us and that definitely needs doing. As you can see, we've not got over much left on this to do, but this Ford is absolutely, absolutely amazing. It just drives so nice. Just drives so nice. Yeah, I think for this Ford we need to invest in some better tyres. Um, I don't really want to invest in the tyres on the Renault just because you know it's the Renault. 
It was nice not to have Daniel uh, bad driving today. I will give it that. It was definitely nice not to have Daniel's bad driving. Yeah, I, I do need to turn the traffic off and I'll, I'll do it once I've finished the uh, recording today. I, I know what everyone's talking about, you know, the traffic's more of a hassle on the map than it is. It's just nice to be working in a and a car drives past, you know what I mean? It's it's just nice. But yeah, the a lot of the tractors just get stuck because of the country lanes and stuff and I, I know where everyone's coming from. I will be taking your advice on that. I just keep meaning to do it and then I just keep forgetting. Lovely, look at that. Job done. We have nearly finished this field, which is, it's taken a, a bit longer than I thought, actually. I did think we'd be more uh, through the field than what we are. Like I say, it doesn't help that I wasted time by going the wrong way. I got lost and, look, I'm saying I got lost, but I wasn't paying attention at the time. My kid's trying to fake illness and he's gone to school and yeah, he's, he's just trying to fake illness. He's trying to get school to send him home ill. And I'm 99% sure there's nothing wrong with him. He's just, he's the youngest. He doesn't like school. Actually, no, I said, I tell a lie. He doesn't mind school. He just doesn't like his school. He just, yeah, he, want, he wants to go to the, uh, he wants to go to where his sister is. But unfortunately, his sister goes off to a college at a young age and... Yeah, he's just... I think it's because he's like... He's quite a small lad, and he's just... Yeah, I think he's just feeling a bit out of place, and... Yeah, I, I don't know. He, I, I can't say for sure. It's not like he's very talkative. His autism either keeps him quiet. He, he don't have... He don't talk feelings and stuff like that, and... Well, he doesn't with me anyway. He does with his mum, but then his mum messages me, and I'm like, I'm, I'm trying to record, you know. But if school rang me, like, I'd be pausing the video to go get him, but they haven't rung yet. So I'm not really sure what's, uh, what's going on at the moment. That is going to be this done any minute now. It's amazing how much you don't have to do, actually, on these contracts. I did just want to get this one finished today. But yeah, we will be in January 2 in the next episode. I don't want to continue in January 1. We've done a few jobs in, in January 1. You know, we've had it on we've had it on six times, which I said I would try and leave it between 5 and 6. And we have done that. It's just not really my fault. There's not really much to do at the moment. It is winter after all. Although 14 degrees apparently in winter. A very mild, warm winter. We must be nearly done now. Where is the... Uh, little notification saying, you've done excellent. There she be. Field 35 is complete. Now, the question is, do we have enough money to buy the wrapper? That is the question. Field 35 cultivating £2,000. Now, I'm very tempted. I'm not going to lie. I'm very tempted. I am very, very tempted to blow 17 grand and buy... Uh, 19 grand and buy. It is literally 49% off. It's 49 percent I am so tempted to buy that. I am really, really tempted to buy that. Because our plan is to get cows. Our plan was to feed them grass, hay and silage. Because we wouldn't have had one of these. Do you know what I mean? But at 19 it's 49 percent off. I'm I'm tempted to blow 19 grand on that. I know it does mean we wouldn't get the wrapper just yet, but we can't bail until about May time. So that would give us a couple of months to replace the money. Um, where is my bill wrapper? Although we do have enough money to buy the wrapper. And it would... Oh, it 
We do have enough money to buy it. Sorry, guys. I thought we. I thought it was thirty-seven thousand pound. Oh, it's twenty-seven thousand pound. Yeah, we've got enough money to buy that wrapper. Right. So now the question is: If I buy that device, if I buy the 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 feeder at nineteen thousand pound, that would mean we need to make ten thousand pound for. Yeah, we'd, we'd need £10,000. Look, there's no more contracts coming up today. So that's going to be the end of January 1. You know, do you know something? I actually think I'm going to be tempted to buy that feeder while it's that price. I really am. Now, I know it kind of changes the situation of where we were thinking. But we were planning on cows. We are planning cows. We, we said that from day one. You know, we want to get cows. And if we can feed them TMR, it will be more productive. Um, and I do. I, I genuinely... I don't know why I crossed the bridge to come this way. This is the longer way. But yeah, I, I'm going to buy the TMR mixer. Now, I know it doesn't mean... I know it means we're going to be a little bit short for the wrapper. But like I said, we can't use the wrapper till May. Because that's when the grass contracts are going to come back in. So that gives us January 2, February 2 days, March... Do you know what I mean? That's going to give us plenty of episodes to do some fertilising, some ploughing, some cultivating. We might get some wool. Um, but I also at some point want to bring in some beehives as well. Because the beehives are going to help bring in a little bit of passive income as well. Might look at maybe a greenhouse as well. I don't know. Some We'll, we'll, we'll look at different things. Um, but yeah, I, I think that feed mixer is something we need to buy because... It's 49% off. I'm not bothered how many work hours it's got. We're very rarely going to use it. It's going to be one of them things where we just fill the cow feed up, pack it up and forget about it. When the cow feed runs low, you know, use it, fill it. You know what I mean? We're only going to use it a couple of times a year. But a 49% discount for a 17,000 litre capacity, I, I think that is a no-brainer. And we're still only £9,000 short or £10,000 for the wrapper anyway. So I, I do think it's better to do it that way. Um, but this is where I'm going to leave the episode, guys. If you've got any any opinions or anything like that, you know, I might agree with you. I might not agree with you, you know, but drop it down in a comment below. But I, I personally think the, uh, the mixer is a, a fantastic bargain at that price. I just kind of wanted to uh, say... Um, but thank you so much for watching guys I hope you have enjoyed this episode and I will see you all in the next one bye for now